It almost looks like a scene from the science fiction movie Minority Report. A New Jersey city is going to start marking people with a red light before they might commit a crime. The police chief in East Orange, William Robinson, is embracing it as the latest pre-crime law enforcement technique. Whereas London have talking cameras, we're about to deploy light projecting cameras, better known as light-based intervention systems. The directed red lights will be attached to existing surveillance cameras and can shoot a light beam a full city block away. If a police officer monitoring one of the city's many high-def cameras sees a crime about to occur, like someone about to get mugged, they will remotely bathe the would-be perpetrator in red light. The message to the criminals is the police are observing you, the police are recording you, and the police are responding. A few years ago, East Orange had one of the worst crime rates in the state as rival Crips and Bloods gangs battled and sold drugs. The city used federal grant money to invest in lots of new technology, which the chief says has brought crime down to the lowest level since the 1960s. Daily policing here is all high-tech. Sensors attached to the top of patrol cars instantly read the license plates of all vehicles the car passes. A monitor shows a picture of the car owner and whether they are on any lists, whether that's a terror watch list or they have an outstanding parking ticket. Every patrol car gets a live feed from all the city's surveillance cameras. We can see what's going on before we actually pull around and get there allowing officers to assess a situation as they approach a potential crime scene. And we can zoom in and move the cameras and... Those who live and work here, like barbershop owner Jayad Ali, are happy crime is down. But, he says, it was more than just a technological feat. You know, collectively, with the police department, along with the citizens of East Orange, they work together. And, and it's like, you know, it's like neighborhood watch here. All this police surveillance is troubling to some, like Deborah Jacobs, executive director of the New Jersey chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union. It's something that's hard to understand and appreciate how it affects our society until you've experienced it and recognized it and found out maybe that you're being watched when you didn't think you were being watched or that some of your actions, where you've been in the United States, we've had lots of monitoring of political activities. She wants laws that protect some places from being watched. You know, these will not look into houses of worship. We won't look at abortion clinics. We won't look into people's private homes. The new red light markers will be installed in East Orange in the coming weeks. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, East Orange, New Jersey.